would advise you not to meet your heroes. The reality might just not live up to expectations. But, with a super technical new breed of supercar arriving in the shape of the Ferrari Enzo, McLaren P1 and even the hybrid Porsche 918 Spyder, we couldn't resist adding one of the all-time greats of the supercar breed, the Porsche Carrera GT, to our list of hero cars met. The Carrera GT is eight years old. Now, when it was released, it was the fastest and most expensive Porsche ever. Now, actually, it still has the latter on her, but a 911 Turbo S of today would be substantially quicker to 60 and wouldn't be far behind at 100 either. And do you know what? I have never cared less about any statistic in my life. Because <laughs> this is just exquisite. Would you just listen to it? <laughs> technology to the road. That's what made it so exceptional. It was the first car with a carbon ceramic clutch. It's got a carbon fibre chassis and the 5.7 litre 603 bake horsepower V10 is also derived from a Le Mans racer, which might explain why it feels like I'm driving a leather clad race car. It's just unbelievable, the noise back through the pedals and the steering is just fantastic, it's really alive. There is no inertia to the engine at all, it's just, it just, it's just relentless and it builds revs so quickly. It's actually quite difficult to heel and tow, not only because the clutch is uh, pretty tricky, but also because the engine drops its revs so quickly. Oh man, when it picks up, it's just amazing. <laughs> and I, I'm sort of trying not to fall back on some sort of awful cliche, but I'm really struggling to find a word that feels original enough to describe this car because it's so far from a 911, it's unbelievable. I mean, it really, really feels it's a proper supercar that it has all the feel of a race car it's got that slightly kind of spine tingling intimidation that you get with a supercar but there's so much feedback that it's just beautiful to drive it's just an astonishing car i don't think i've ever experienced anything like it and i mean i've been lucky enough to drive the most modern of supercars it's not nostalgia either the carrera gt feels modern it feels completely of the 21st century. It really does. I mean, it feels so up to date. You don't feel like you're driving an old car. Okay, so the clutch is a bit heavy. Maybe it's a bit prone to understeer if you don't drive it properly. But you get it right and my God, it just sings. It really does. GT cost £300,000 when new and today it'll cost you £300,000. That's three brand new 911 turbos and you know what? Anybody with a pulse can see why it's worth that much. It is totally unique, utterly intoxicating and it's a real thoroughbred supercar and it really deserves its status as an iconic car.